Hey everybody, Yvonne here. Today, we're gonna go over Webflow and see if it's gonna be the right solution for you in 2024. As someone that has built websites for many years, I've used many different tools. That gave me lots of insights of where the place stands and where it's currently going. So is Webflow still worth it? Now that answer depends on many different factors. The biggest reason why people use Webflow is because of the customization that it offers. If you've ever used Webflow or thinking about getting into it, there's no tool virtually out there that allows you to have the same amount of customization without having any programming knowledge. Simply put, on Webflow, you can practically build anything. However, the whole experience does come at a pretty steep learning curve. So let's go over some of the basics and jump into Webflow. Currently in front of me is a template that Webflow provides and here's how the user interface is going to look like. On the left, there's going to be the navigator tab where you can see different sections, what pretty much makes up the website look the way it is. And on the right here, there's actually going to be a customization panel. Here, all we got to do here is click on a specific element that we want to edit. So for example, let's click on this element right over here. And as we can see, it's currently in blue. So all we got to do to change the color is click on it and change the color to exactly what we want it to. And again, we can do the exact same thing for sizing, fonts, or any other variables when it comes to space or where it is in the current website. Additionally, there are many different drag and drop tools out there available. All we got to do is press the plus, And if we want to add a paragraph, just drag it where we want it and boom, we have it in our website. But the biggest benefit of Webflow is that it does get much more customizable than that. But don't worry, with Webflow, there are many other assets that we can also add that can give that personalized feel to our website. To see those, all we got to do is click on the plus button here. And as we can see, there are many different elements that we can also add that can help us with the structure of the website, typography, the CMS systems, media, forms, pretty much anything out there. We can even add our own custom code blocks. Now, even though the basic features of Webflow are going to be really straightforward for us to pick up in order for us to get the best results possible, we do need to get a little technical with it. And for this exact reason, there are countless people on the web that mention that Webflow is not made for designers at all. The simple reasoning behind this is that designers are usually good at one thing, which is design. That's why decreasing the technical barrier of entry can help a lot of people out. It would make it much easier for them to express their creative side without feeling limited by the platform. And look, if all you want is just to build a static basic website, there are many different tools out there. There are websites out there like Anima app that can get your Figma files and convert them into code really quickly, which makes it much easier to publish. So if you are using platforms like Figma or Sketch, which most designers already do, that's all pretty much you need to know. However, Webflow does offer a really strong community and support team to help you with any technical issues that you may have. And at the end of the day, you can literally build anything you want within Webflow. And I'm not sure I can say the exact same thing about other platforms. If you're looking for something simple, that maybe platforms like Wix, Squarespace, or Hostinger are going to be the good move for you. However, if we are going to include complex animations and want to bring our website to the next level, Webflow is going to be a no-brainer. The company is rapidly growing, and there's so many different features that are being added to it as we speak to the platform. Now, let's check out how pricing works for Webflow. As we can see here, there are five different plans that Webflow offers. If you're just a beginner and you're playing around with your first website, I would heavily consider the free option. This will give you a good start to actually playing around with the platform and publishing some pages. However, when you do publish it, they are going to have a Webflow that are your domain attached to them. And in order for us to have a customized one, we do need to upgrade this plan. And that's where for most folks, I believe the basic or the CMS version is going to come into play. For the basic version, if we sign up for the annual package, it's only going to be $14 a month. And that's going to include 150 pages that we can add to our website and even 500 form submissions that we can have monthly. It's going to be able to withstand moderate traffic, which is going to be good for most people. However, if we are planning to publish lots of content on our website, the CMS plan, which stands for a content management system, is going to be the best option for us. It's going to be a little more expensive coming in at $23 a month. However, for this price tag, you're going to get an additional 2000 CMS items that we can add to your website. And other perks include more form submissions and having three people having access to your website so they can all edit it. And since we are dealing with a more hefty website, we're going to need a little more bandwidth when it comes to our use. So that's why it offers over 200 gigabytes of bandwidth that's going to be good for roughly 250,000 visitors. And ultimately, if you're able to grow your operation, the business and enterprise plans are going to make sense for you. However, what I would do if I were you is I would start off with a smaller plan and upgrade as you go. So in summary, if you're trying to build a website that's not going to be very technical, no animations, going to be static, there are other platforms out there. The platforms that I like are going to be Wix, Squarespace, and Hostinger. All those platforms are going to be zero code, they're really affordable, and I'm going to have links down below with special discount codes for them. However, if you want to create a website that surpasses your imagination, Webflow is going to be the option you want to go for. Even though it's going to be a little more technical than other platforms that we mentioned, it's going to allow you to create any animations that we're looking for and provide you with the best user experience possible. Additionally, we're going to cover a lot more tutorials on this channel. They're going to help you learn the ins and outs of the platform. So there you guys have it. This is going to be the Webflow review in 2024. I hope you guys have been able to enjoy this video and I've gotten a better sense if Webflow is going to be the right platform for you. If you want to try Webflow for yourself, use the link down below for a free trial. And we also have a service that's linked down below where we can help you set up your very first website for free. Here on this channel, we make videos on how to start and grow your first website. Till next time. Peace.